So that's just got ready. I need to leave in like five minutes. Oh, I feel awful. I'm still sneezing like motherfucker. And <laughs> my nose is just crazy. I didn't do any makeup or anything. I can't be honestly bothered. So, yeah, I just gotta. I think I gotta sneeze. <sighs> Sorry, that was disgusting. But yeah, I'm gonna catch the train and go to hospital. From some deep in the ground, I heard I could live forever. From a song in the wishing well, shall I? realized I never came back after my visit to hospital so yeah I had a checkup it seems to be all good so far from the look I was did the tests as well and I should get the results in like three to four weeks to see if there's any abnormal cells still left on my cervix but so far what she saw what she tested that she could do like in the in the office in doctor's office it seems to be fine so that's good um today's saturday i haven't vlogged uh it's one o'clock because i woke up literally like 20 minutes ago um again my plan was going out but i don't think i will do it the weather is absolutely disgusting it's literally just gray hate it and i'm still kind of like whole, this whole week i was kind of on and off with the cold so one day i was fine the other day i was feeling poorly and you know i was just like stuck in a house in a house basically i did two days in the office uh tuesday and wednesday but that was about it um and yeah not really exciting week i'm thinking maybe today i actually do a food shop and you know like the admins and stuff and then tomorrow on sunday i will go out bar we will see. Who knows? Who knows? The positive thing, I finish a second book of the year and I'm almost done with my third. So, you know, some perks of being home and not going anywhere. But that's, I think, about it. Now I'm going to make food because I'm starving. So, yeah, and maybe coffee, even though it's a bit too late. So I might gonna just do hot chalk, but we'll see. Good morning, it's Sunday. Um, yesterday I did absolutely fuck all, which was lovely. I just watched um, Netflix, well Netflix, it was Amazon Prime. I actually watched this Korean drama called, um, drama or series, thriller, I don't really know what category that put in, but it's called Death's Game. It's on Amazon Prime and it's really good. It's like eight episodes, I still have two episodes left, but yeah. It was so good, like the plus twist, the characters, the cast is also amazing. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Then obviously I did some reading and that was kind of it because, not gonna lie, I felt a bit down. Um, I obviously, because the cold, but also with my business, I had to kind of let go a client. Um, so it was kind of like, you know, I always felt down annoying because I put so much effort into uh, into the project and uh, it just, we are not on the same page. So basically what happened is I spent two months just perfecting a logo and putting the vision together to explain to her what I'm gonna do for her Instagram and she seemed to be all on board. We had three calls which I normally don't do. I usually do like one call, just a discovery call, then I do my job and then we have the final call when I'm explaining how to use Canva and what the each template is for. However, um, after she paid the deposit, uh, she started to be like, oh, can we change this? I actually don't like this. I don't like that. So it felt to me like 
the last two months I've been just wasting my time uh, because she haven't really reviewed anything. She was just like, you know, um, telling me she's happy with everything and she likes the ideas and everything. But once she paid, she actually, for first time, actually sit down and review everything and had a couple notes, which normally I would be fine with because obviously uh, I want her to be happy. But in the same time, I'm like, we did three calls. I've been constantly chasing for feedback and I haven't really got anything besides, yeah, I remember with this. Yeah, this looks good, this color, da, 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 da. So I decided to basically drop her. And uh, yeah, obviously it's not the best. But I was thinking like in my full-time employment, my 9 to 5, it took me a long time to actually put my foot down and be like, I'm not doing this, it's not my responsibility, this is not my job, this is not what my uh, job role and title uh, basically involves. So, and now it's kind of like paying off finally that I'm standing my ground, uh, grounds, so... Yeah, I decided I will do that for my business and I probably should have done it uh, earlier, but you know, lesson learned and now I know exactly what I need to do when it comes to uh, new clients and yeah, that's what it is. So it was a bit like, you know, down week, <laughs> weekend, because me being ill and uh, you know, this situation uh, happening but um, it is what it is so and uh, now I will go to shops so normally I go to Lidl as you know but I'm leaving to Czech Republic on Thursday so I just need food for four days and I still have some food in the fridge and in my cupboard so I'm gonna try to finish that so I'm just gonna do a little shop and then I need to go to Boots or Lidl because I need to get hair dye hair color my hair horrendous i haven't done anything today yet. i haven't even brushed them but it's just the color it's just like this is basically my natural color this is from when i had blonde hair and i just don't like it so I'm gonna dye it before i go home to feel a bit better because i haven't lost any weight since i <laughs> since I've been last time, I think I maybe gain a bit more. So you know, just to make myself feel a bit feel to make myself feel a bit better, I'm gonna dye my hair, and yeah. So that's kind of a program. What I do in the afternoon, I have no idea. I'll probably finish the uh, Korean series and then edit this vlog. And am I gonna be it? I don't know. We will see. <music> I just realized I polished my brunch without showing you. I had two sourdough rolls with bacon, which is lovely. And now I think I'm gonna do my hair. I'm not gonna film it because I'm not the most cleanest when it comes to doing my hair, dyeing my hair. But yeah, I also watched a new video from Two Hearts, One Soul. So that made me really, really happy. I'm really enjoying their content. And yeah, I'm just rumbling again. Honestly, today's video is just me sitting at home mainly and talking shite to you guys. But you know, it is what it is. And let's do the before and after. So this is before, as you can see. Multiple colours. Multiple colours. So hopefully I will look a bit better. <laughs> so I dyed my hair. But also, I got fucking bangs. <laughs> well, um... I watched a couple of YouTube videos. Uh, I thought I can manage. Uh, thought I'm gonna get myself a nice curtain banks, you know, quite a long one. Turns out I just have banks, so that's great. Um, 
they are so short that I can't even put them behind my ear so yeah starting 2024 the right way <laughs> I can't I can't luckily my hair growing quite fast so and I'm gonna eat collagen and all the multivitamins for you know helping with my uh, hair so hopefully it's gonna grow out soon um uh, lesson learned never cut your bangs at home I'm never gonna do it again so yeah and <laughs> <laughs> I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is enough for today's video. Um, and yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, at least for my hair. And, <coughs> and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye! Uh -huh.